hundreds of community members gathered to discuss four different areas of concern in the Charleston area. Education, policing, housing, and transportation. The principal of Northwoods Middle School spoke about implementing restorative practices in her school to try and cut down on the amount of students being suspended and arrested. She announced that new data confirmed a significant decrease since starting these different programs. December 2017, 29. January to December 2018, 18. And January until, I got this data on Friday, 10. Officials spoke about the lack of affordable housing in North Charleston. They claim that the city of North Charleston has the highest eviction rate in the country. It is very easy to ask a person who can afford housing when their mortgage is being met. They pay the taxes, no big deal. They got employment, they got a 401k plan. But when you think about what you have, faith statement says you also need to consider what other people don't have. Chief Luther Reynolds from the Charleston Police Department gave an update on the recently conducted racial bias audit. Beginning in January and other areas will require more investment, are more complex, but are being worked on to achieve better reports and discussion and clarity around operational strategies and outcomes regarding race, fairness, and social justice issues. Finally, leaders discussed the growing need for public transportation in the Charleston area, saying there are simply not enough options for those who don't own a car. People who work downtown, who can't live downtown, have to deal with housing and the cost of transportation. And that's why we're dealing with both housing and transportation. There are two issues that really uh, relate uh, very closely one to the other. With 2020 just around the corner, CAJM leaders say that they have ambitious goals to make Charleston a better place to live and work. You can learn more on our website, countonto.com. I'm reporting in studio, Katie Turner, Count On 2.